In this edition, we're going to talk about the how you design or specify a drip pan. And there'll be two considerations that you'll want to take into account or two, two considerations that we'll at least be addressing in this, in this edition. And that is the first one, the size of drip pan that you're going to want to uh, specify. And then also the material makeup or the material that you'll want to use in, in your drip pan. So uh, first of all, I'd like to, you to take a look at this 48 by 48 by two inch drip pan. This particular drip pan is a stock drip pan, or it's a standard size drip pan for us. Uh, it's made out of galvanized material. Now this 48 by 48 by two inch pan, uh, this pan will hold approximately 2.6 cubic feet of water. In this instance, I take the 48 inches times the 40 inches times two inches, I get approximately 46, uh, uh, 4,600 cubic inches of, uh, of uh, volume. And then that converts into 2.6 feet, 2.2 sorry, 2.6 cubic feet of volume of uh, of capacity, volume capacity. When you're looking at your piece of equipment, look at the look at the volume of liquid it can hold, and determine how you are going to protect the against spillage. If your drip pan is going to have to hold all of the liquid within your piece of equipment, then you'll want to figure out a, a drip pan. Uh, size using that equation length times width times height you'll want to figure out a drip pan size that can hold the full capacity of your piece of equipment if however you're going to have a drain in it and it's going to drain out then you can use a smaller pan than the volume of your piece of equipment in considering galvanizing when we manufacture our pans we actually weld the corners of the pans so the reason why we do that is it provides a sturdier pan, also allows us to work, work with a much thicker material than the standard pans that, are, that, are, that you'd buy at the box stores. We have to use a raw steel when we do that. And so we come back after we've welded those corners and we coat those to prevent against rust, the same that the, that the galvanizing uh, on, the, on the steel will prevent the rusts. So that's, a, that's an extra measure that we take to make sure that you get a long life out of your galvanized steel uh, drip pans. Remember that all Killarney metal pans are guaranteed not to leak. Now, if I was going to use, if I was going to have a pan and it was going to be in a highly corrosive environment or the contents within it were going to be highly corrosive, I would move from a galvanized pan to a stainless steel pan. Here I have an example of our stainless steel pan. You'll see that it has a welded corners. Uh, all of the aspects of this pan are the same as the big pan, except for the material that we use to make it. Stainless steel is excellent for marine environments, um, excellent for, for uh, instances where you're going to be holding contents that are highly corrosive. Uh, any type of uh, chemical type of, uh, of spillage that you're going to want to be preventing, stainless steel is likely the product that you're going to want to go with. So that concludes our discussion on the drip pans and the specifications or designing of a drip pan. If whatever your drip pan need, if you have a special custom drip pan that you need, maybe a large drip pan or maybe ones with special cutouts in them or anything like that, Clarity Metals is here to help. We, uh, we have the ability to manufacture all types of drip pans. So whatever you need, let us know. You can give us a call, give our customer service a call, or you can contact us at our website, www.killarneymetals.com. And, uh, and I know that our helpful staff will be there to serve you. I want to thank you again for joining us. Come on back to our, uh, to our videos at some point. I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of new stuff that we put out over the coming months. Thank you very much. Have a good day.